they could have been one of the most powerful couples in Hollywood. When they started dating, Jennifer Lawrence had just won an Oscar, and Chris Martin had released some of the most famous songs of his career. However, things turned sour for the actress. Chris and his ex had filed for divorce five months earlier, and he was still spending a lot of time with her. And Jennifer herself fell victim to a very public sexual crime. Maybe we'll call your ex, maybe we'll call my ex, who knows? The point is, we'll have fun. Chris Martin and Jennifer Lawrence were first linked in August 2014. The actress had attended several of Chris's concerts with his band Coldplay, but she tried to stay on the down low. Jen even covered her face, so the paparazzi couldn't take her picture. In September, the new couple decided to stop hiding. They started doing things in public, like enjoying a nice dinner out with some friends in West Hollywood. A source that was present at the restaurant told E! News that the lovebirds seemed comfortable and happy with each other. It doesn't seem like it's a new relationship. They seem super affectionate, the person added. The pair never released a statement or officially told the media they were dating. However, the actress made use of her usual sense of humor to give some hints. At the time, the young star was promoting Mockingjay, the third movie in her Hunger Games franchise. During interviews, she joked that she had been listening to a lot of Coldplay. Well, it seemed like J-Law was happy with her new boo. So much that in October, she decided to introduce Chris to her family. The actress's grandmother spoke to Daily Mirror and explained that Jennifer's mom had flown to Los Angeles to meet the singer. We will have to get another chair for the dinner table at Christmas, she said. That same month, the Academy Award winner revealed a little more about her philosophy and relationships, although she never mentioned Chris directly. Jennifer told Vanity Fair that she wasn't looking for passionate love. Instead, she preferred to have a more peaceful time. The performer stated those relationships are deeper because you can be your true self with somebody, and somebody can be their true self with you. Well, maybe the actress never mentioned her boyfriend because she knew the relationship was about to expire. The couple broke up just a couple of weeks after Martin had met Lawrence's family. A source reportedly told Mail Online, Jen got tired of watching Chris play happy families with Gwen and was annoyed that he was trying to keep her hidden away. Before dating Lawrence, the Coldplay frontman was married to actress Gwyneth Paltrow. The exes met in 2002 and started dating almost immediately. Their connection was so strong that Chris wrote his hit Fix You to help Gwyneth as she coped with the aftermath of her father's death. But all that glitters is not gold. In March 2014, the two posted an announcement on Paltrow's website titled Conscious Uncoupling. The pair revealed that they had been working on their relationship for over a year, but had finally decided to split. Maybe all that intensity was the reason why J-Law felt like Chris and his ex were kind of too close. In fact, news of the breakup hit just days after Chris was seen at a Japanese restaurant in LA with his ex-wife and children. Do you think Jen made the right call? Before dating the Coldplay frontman, the Hunger Games alum had been in high-profile relationships herself. She started dating her X-Men First Class co-star Nicholas Holt one year after filming had begun. The actress wasn't shy when it came to gushing about her love. She even told Elle magazine that she was dating her best friend. However, they had a brief split in 2013 and a final breakup in August 2014, shortly before Jen started dating Chris. Reportedly, the reason was their busy schedules. In 2015, Lawrence opened up about the end of her relationship with Holt in an interview with Diane Sawyer. She started talking about the Hunger Games franchise and how the movies were a huge part of her world. I was also in a relationship with somebody for five years and that was my life, Chen said. The actress then explained that the breakup happened around the same time the movies wrapped. Jennifer said that during that whole year, she asked herself, who am I without these movies? Who am I without this man? The breakup was tough for the actress. But unfortunately, it wasn't the only challenge she had to face in 2014. A hacker stole intimate pictures of her and posted them online. Lawrence described the hacking to The Hollywood Reporter as so unbelievably violating that you can't even put it into words. Jennifer explained that the experience was very hard to process because suddenly everybody in the world was capable of seeing the pictures that were only meant for her and Nicholas Holt to see. I feel like I got gangbanged by the fucking planet, she confessed. In a different interview with Vanity Fair, the actress also shared that she feared for her career when the scandal happened. However, she was completely aware that it was not her fault and it was not okay. It's my body and it should be my choice, and the fact that it is not my choice is absolutely disgusting, the actress stated. She also clarified that it is not a scandal, it is a sex crime, and had a strong message for the people who had decided to view her pictures. You're perpetuating a sexual offense. Luckily, the hackers were caught and had to serve time in prison. 
I mean, I make a mess, but I'm really good at cleaning it up, and I can, like, I can attack a mess. Lawrence eventually understood that she was still a good role model for young girls, and was able to overcome what happened. As for the actress's relationship with Chris, the couple got back together in December 2014. The two were spotted having dinner, and a source close to them told People Magazine that they had been dating. The person also explained that Lawrence had made peace with the fact that Chris was going to spend some time with his ex. She understands that his relationship with Gwyneth is based around the family, and it will always be a part of his life, they said. We like to do things to reinforce that we're a family for the children and for each other, and he's, he's like my brother. He's really, I'm very close to him. In early 2015, the pair were spotted together several times. They even attended singer Harry Styles' birthday party together. However, in August, the pair broke things off for the last time. A source close to Martin told People Magazine that the singer didn't want the relationship to end, but he needed flexibility to see his family and keep up with his job schedule. He's crazy about Jen, but wants to keep his own schedule and be able to do what he wants when he wants to do it, the person explained. A different source told the magazine that the actress got tired of Chris being so non-committal. She still wants to see more of him, the person said. Other anonymous informers were more optimistic, with one of them saying, They still care about each other, so I can't say the romance is completely over. Martin moved on quickly and started dating actress Annabelle Wallace in the same month his relationship with Lawrence ended. Soon, pictures of the new couple engaging in very public displays of affection were everywhere, which didn't sit well with J-Law. An insider told Heat Magazine that the Academy Award winner was furious when she saw the pictures. She fired off an angry email to him when she saw the photos online, the source said. According to this insider, Jennifer assumed that the singer had been using her to get over his divorce, and that was why he was able to move on so quickly. Oh my god. Oh, you're killing me. Nobody wanted to think Jen was his rebound girl, but it definitely seems that way now, the source stated. The person explained that Chen kept breaking things off with the musician, but he always strung her along and convinced her to come back. After some time, the actress ended up moving on herself. In September 2016, she began dating Darren Aronofsky, the film director she had just worked with on Mother. The couple was very private but seemed happy despite their 22-year age difference. They dated for a year before their breakup in November 2017. In 2018, Chen started dating art gallery director Cook Moroni, whom she married the following year. The actress told Entertainment Tonight, he's just the best person I've ever met in my whole life, and explained that saying yes when Cook proposed was a very, very easy decision. In early 2022, the couple welcomed their first child together. As for Chris, his relationship with Annabelle Wallace lasted two years before they finally split in 2017. That same year, he began dating Fifty Shades of Grey actress Dakota Johnson. Although the couple has always been very private, the singer showed how head over heels he is when he publicly dedicated his song Universe to Dakota at a 2021 concert. It seems like Lawrence and Martin's relationship is long in the past for both of them. Here at Rumor Juice, we are happy they found love with other people, but we'll never forget their cute moments together. Were you a fan of this couple? Be well and be kind.